I have a little bit of an issue. Idiot! Yeah. Freaking idiot. So this is our battery and... Can you, can you f***ing see this shit? This is f***ing bullshit. Hot water tank. Thousand amp hour of f***ing batteries. 240 volt, f***ing 50 amp power. And let's put it all f***ing together. The water pump, f***ing everything. Electrical and water should never be in the same f***ing compartment. All right, so, okay. What we're gonna fucking do is rip out all the batteries, take this, separate it from this piece of shit that's all fucking rotted, jack it up with some zap straps, rip this fucking panel out, take this, put it on the fucking floor where it belongs, and totally revisit this whole fucking space. And then, we can go back into the bus and look at doing the shower and the toilet and tiling the floors and f***ing using the $2,000 worth of material that we purchased from Home Depot today. But before we can do that, we gotta do... We gotta do this! Cut! And stay out! Yo, what do we got? Key hider, tra oh, trademark, the key hider. What is this for? That key. Okay, <laughs> so I gotta rip this shit out. Oh, it's not even fucking attached. I'm probably gonna have to flip a breaker. I'm an asshole, but I'm not a total fucking asshole. I'm gonna flip a breaker and then I'll cut this shit and isolate. Get my murettes, please, wife. <sighs> All right, you know what, let's go get some new material. This is the profanity episode, by the way. I'm spitting all over myself, because that's where we're at. All right, so we got some sub four panels. This will waterproof anything. This is, that'd seal up a duck's ass if you put a good spatula of that on there. We got some charcoal grout. Now, Ronald at uh, Home Depot tried to tell us what to do and said if we use charcoal grout, it would mute out the marble effect of our lifetime tile. <laughs> Ronald, don't tell me what to do. We got some pressure treated plywood. We got some normal plywood. We got some cement board. We're pretty much doing this proper for the first time ever. This bus is from 1972. It was a private motor coach from day dot. And here in 2021, we're getting it done proper. Cheers. To add, Ronald was actually very helpful. Ray Ronald was just lovely. <laughs> he was a lovely man. Was, but don't you ever tell me what to do, Ronald. <laughs> I can make up my own mind. <laughs> Jesus. So I flipped the fucking breaker and I still fucking had a bang pop. I don't know what the fuck is going on here. I'm gonna ind independently cut these fucking things and trace them back and rip them out because this is stupid. So come up here to the panel, shut off the water pump, come through the danger zone. Ah. Drain that bad boy there, and through goddamn hell. Then we come over to here. I think I open this. I should be able to. Yeah, drain all the lines, drain the hot water tank. We'll let that fully drain. And then, uh, yeah, we will disconnect all the batteries. We've got eight of them. Eight, six volt, 250 amp hour, which turns into four 12 volt, um, 1000 amp hour when they're all put together. I'll break off all this stuff and then oh the fridge wants to be switched to propane but I'm gonna be disconnecting all the batteries underneath the hot water tank so I think I'll just shut the fridge off so don't fry the motherboard and yeah boom it's that easy come through here 
keep out. Huh, people tell me what to do again. Down through here. That's the breaker. Come on. Ah. Boom. So, draining the hot water tank. She's chugging away. Little gurgles of water there. I pulled out two of the batteries. I forgot how heavy they were. Heavy. Smashing a triple O's burger. And the wife is ordering us Panago uh, for like 6.30 or something like that. It's like an hour and a half, I'll be hungry again. I have no idea what I'm doing. I got murettes though, I told you I'd get them. And yeah, I'm just gonna, I guess, rip the hot water tank out, rip the batteries out. Then I'll look at ripping the inverter out. I'm gonna build a new box for all this and shift everything over. And then, uh, yeah, I guess put the hot water tank back in. Probably gonna have to cut some of those brass lines up there, get them lower so this all works with our sunken shower. But uh, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. First, I need to get everything ripped out and build new bases. And then we're gonna coat it. Um, I gotta take a bite. Then we're gonna, oh, that is totally food in my beard. Oh, whatever. We're gonna use this duplicolor bed armor. My mouth is still full. Whatever, you guys get the gist. To see if fucking red, all the batteries are out, so the bus is dead. I am going to yank the hot water tank out, break all the fixing fittings because it's drained, break the power from it, and pull it out of the bus. Then I am gonna cut all this out and kind of maybe just ha hang the inverter in the air. And yeah, then we'll look at laying out for the batteries and doing all that work. For fuck's sakes, okay, so. This fucking coolant line, when we were loosening the hoses, we fucking pierced it. So the wife has run to grab a pistol grip clamp. I'm gonna fucking stick my finger on it. For fuck's sakes, she's a gusher. Whatever. Um, why would anything go right? Fucking everything is just going wrong. I don't know how to shut the coolant off over here. I think it goes to the generator on the other side of the bus. I'll go have a fucking look and see if this will fucking stop leaking. So the old fucker that drives that gold car over there, I don't know if you can see it, Sydney will blur out the plate. He told me he was gonna get his truck and smash into the bus. So the wife was in there making sandwiches and he backed into this part of the bus right here, enough to like rock the whole bus. And then come over here and you can see that someone is smacked into this part of the bus and totally dented this in. It's all So now when I go to get into the generator, being able to shut the door is like a fucking nightmare. So we've got cool lines. Where the fuck are these fucking pumps from? That's gotta be them. Cause those two coolant lines right there look like they go up. So, yeah, for sure, these are the lines that run up over there. I don't even fucking know how this trick goes, but I shot this prick here. That should be one of them. And this prick here should be the other. And in theory, hold on, let me just make sure I check this thoroughly. For sure those are the lines. So now, with those both closed, there should be no coolant that escapes. Now watch this though, this is a nightmare. Look at how the door sits. When I go to push it, it won't go in. I gotta do like this crazy kick move to get it to shut. The guy was 87 years old and he threatened me that he would smash his truck into the side of the bus. What an absolute nightmare. Oh fucking right, okay. So did the wife get some clamps? I don't see a wife. But I'm pretty sure we could get a container and we'll obviously get a shovel and a wheelbarrow and clean up this mess with the coolant we have here. She is what she is. Let's make sure my eyebrows are on fleek here. Um, I did tell you this was gonna be the second profanity episode. This bus renovation is absolute bullshit. But I am gonna find a silver lining 
I think that it's cool that I now know how that hot water tank and all that shit works with the Wabasto. Um, oh, the wife is calling. Hello, wife. I'll um, put you on speaker. Hold on a second. Okay. Um, I. Yeah, like a coolant hose or anything. So to me, this looks like it is five eighths. It's five eighths hose. So we need four to six inches of five eighths, two valves. Yeah, five eighths and a half, eh, right? Yeah. Okay, just two. No, four, you need four clamps. Oh, there's three that they have. Take them. Okay, thank you so much. You too. Okay, um, you think okay. you got it then, or? Hmm? Do you have it all? Yeah. Okay, thanks. I'm gonna keep working on this. Bye. Fucking <laughs> lazy people at Canadian Tire trying to rough my wife out, rush my wife out before she gets all the shit she needs to save me from this total fuck up. I fucked this up. I totally need to put my hand up and say I fucked it. But I thought the valves that I shut were gonna actually have an effect on this. I need valves here. I need valves on the rads in the back. I need valves on the Wabasto. And there is already valves on the radiator for the generator. Who built this fucking bus? Fuck it, I'm gonna start cutting the shit all out because it's garbage. Look how fucking rotted that pressure treated it. Why they fucking built this like this, I'll never know. I wanna get a nice little uh, tin pad built so that if this thing leaks at all it can like drain through the fucking floor i'll grab the hole saw sit this on its little tin like fucking catchment so it can't run over to where the electrical and shit is and just do this properly well as proper as i fucking can i don't know all right this is for all the good that are still watching this fucking total calamity I have completely gutted this bitch. I've opened it up into the bus because that's where our shower is gonna be. The wife and I have a plan. Hot water tank goes here. We relocate the drain and all of the plumbing that we can over to this side so everything is local. We're gonna build a cool slide out drawer for the uh, batteries. We're gonna go four by four. So, unos, dos, tres, cuatro. Cinco, I don't know the rest. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go four wide and have that roll out on a drawer on that side. We're gonna build a nice little cabinet and we're gonna rock guard it. Uh, we're gonna stick the inverter up on top and we will be in way better shape to drop the shower down so I can actually enjoy a fucking shower because showering this thing has been a total fucking nightmare but that's the end of this fucking vlog this has been the profanity session with the good ray still yeah like share comment smash the subscribe button because i think this profanity fucking thing is going to be a continuation i just it's my authentic self i like when life it's on you and you get black mold and your wife is just miserable that you bought this stupid fucking bus you gotta drop some f-bombs She's lying to you. Liar! Liar! She's a liar! I mean, she's got a nice bum on her, but she's a liar! Okay, good night.